Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Edgar Mendez and today we're doing an all signs reading all about your person's current feelings. Um, I know I just did this reading, but I am hungry for seconds. I hope you are as well. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing time and space with me. I also want to give you all a reminder. I do have a lot of services open. Um, one on one private readings for the Saturday and same day readings are open as well. Um, I am also offering healing. If you cannot get a healing or you don't see the booking, um, please email me. I'm actually healing and I will be doing a different type of healing going forward as well. So I would love, hmm, huh, sorry, I think I may do it on Friday then. Um, huh. I may be offering a healing for free. Uh, actually, I'm going to give away. That's the funniest thing. I didn't, I've been wanting to do it. No one's booked. So whatever. I will, um, be on the lookout for Friday's live stream. I will be doing a giveaway for an healing. It's going to be sacred geometry healing. Um, all right. Hmm. Sorry. That's oh, real funny. I just, I didn't even think about it, but whatever. Um, I'm still setting up. I want you all to know. I love you. I care about you. Um, let's see if this lighter works. Oh, well, I think it's out. Um, I asked for protection healing. I, I call in the higher energies and divine, uh, the higher realms of divine energies that guide me, help me receive clearly this day. I also call for divine to help me receive clearly the guidances and messages this day for the reading I'm going to be doing. I thank you in advance for your help and assistance, and I love you. Um, I will be doing Aries all the way down to Pisces, and today's reading is going to be focused on um, their person's current feelings for them. Thank you. Sorry, everyone. I had to set that up. Um, I want you to know I love you all. Um, hi, Lindsay. Hi, EC. I do appreciate it. We're at two minutes um, for Aries' reading. Uh, okay, sorry. I just burped, everyone. It is what it is. Anyway, um, I love you. I love you all. So let's take a look here. We're going to look at Aries, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries viewers, Aries... Um, all the people that are going to click on this video, they're going to watch the Aries reading. Um, can you tell me um, well, what's currently happening in the connection between Aries and their person? What's currently going on? What's the overall energy here? Um, let's see. It's this card right here. Interesting. Hmm. I feel like there's communication between you and this person um, with that King of Swords here. Um, the communication is very cold, right? Um, it may be standoffish. Um, a one thing I am seeing here with that King of Swords is you may not be in the like in the, the right place or the right energy or even um, even the right state of mind when you're communicating with each other because it feels like communication between you and this person isn't that good or isn't the best or it could be better. Um, what's going on here? I feel like maybe there are people around you or maybe you're at work. Um, maybe you're always with friends. Um, there's something along the lines here where this person never really gets a chance to talk to you the way that they want to talk to you, get to know you the way that they want to get to know you. Even ask those questions. You know, those really personal questions um, that you only ask when you're by yourself. Uh, you only ask whenever you are... Um, uh, getting to know someone and it's like, it's, it's your, not your thing, but it's something that only you can ask that person. Right. And vice versa. So it's something that, uh, they're, it's, they're the, per sorry, you're the person they tell and vice versa. It feels like you both desire that type of conversation and you desire that type of and level of communication, but it feels like you have to be cold with each other. So let's see what the lovers being here. Right. Um, uh, this is, this feels like your connection is a balance, is in harmony, and both are very much attracted to one another. Sorry, it's real funny. Um, with the King of Swords being here, it's clear, right, um, that you're not as uh, that you're not able to communicate the way that you both want to. You both desire communication. You both want communication, and you both um, want there to be. Um, I want to say more. Uh, intimacy, and you're not really able to achieve that right now with that King of Swords here. Uh, with the lovers being here and the Two of Swords in its reverse, I can tell that um, you both see things clearly. You both see a future here. It just feels like the communication style that's happening right now isn't um, moving you towards that. I feel like maybe um, uh, asking to have alone time or maybe asking this person out on a date or vice versa would help, but it feels like communication is 
Not the best. So let's see. Can you tell me for Aries, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, how does this person currently feel? So I know that you want to know, Aries, because, well, <laughs> um, this person isn't really being that open um, for whatever reason. So let's take a look here. We have the Knight of Wands in its reverse. We have the Hanged Man in its reverse. And it comes out with the Nine of Wands in its upright with the Five of Pentacles. I do feel, um, with the Five of Pentacles being in its reverse, um... You're better than anything they have. Uh, sorry, you're better than anyone they've met with that five of pentacles in its reverse. Um, but there are things I feel in your life, their life, that are blocking the connection. Uh, a really good way to put it. Um, I'm sorry, see you to the three of pentacles. Um, sorry, uh, I feel like there's people Im involved or there's other connections involved or there's other situations involved that are preventing both of you from being able to, um, with that king of, uh, sorry, that king of swords here, um, get to know each other better. This person does find you very attractive. Um, it's an odd thing to say, but you know when you find someone really attractive and you just want to go in for that kiss or you want to go and go in and just put your body against their body, right? Um it's not possible with the way you're talking to each other, with how you're communicating with each other, with the people that you have around you. It feels like this person wants to take you out. I feel like this person wants to get to know you better. Um, but with that King of Wands, sorry, the King of, of Swords here and that Knight of Wands in reverse, it's like they almost have to always um, pull back this fiery passion that they have. Um, and it feels like they they want you to know it. They want you to show it. Um, this person wants to want you to see, sorry. Mm -hmm. They want you to even feel it, right? Um, with that Knight of Wands in its reverse, but, but uh, Aries, <laughs> um, all of these people are, are in the way. All of these, um, I want to say, all of these, like uh, you know, these these voices are in the way, and all these people's judgments in the way. With the Hangman in its reverse here, I feel. Um, hmm. Can I do a cleansing and clearing? Thank you. Um, I feel like with the the hangman in its reverse, also, thank you. Sorry. Um, uh, just lately, it's been so hard to stay connected. Everyone, I've I've got to make sure I constantly re ask, re ask, re ask. Anyway, um, persistence is the only thing that gets you there. With the hangman in its reverse, Aries, I can feel that this person, um. They haven't shown you the best parts of themselves yet. They want to as well. They feel like you'd love it. Um, with the Nine of Wands here, they're very guarded towards you, towards the connection. One, they want to protect it. Two, they don't want other people interfering and getting in the way. So there's a little bit of jealousy coming through. A little bit. Not too much, but a little bit of jealousy coming through. So let's take a look here. Can you tell me, um, can I have prepar or, uh, preparations for the all signed reading? Uh, can you tell me for Aries, uh, what does this person want to say? How do they feel? Uh, we have your first card is going to be the Eight of Cups. Interesting. Hmm. I feel like this person has taken that journey of self-discovery, of um, figuring out who they are, what they want, where they're going. Um, it feels like for some of you, this person may have walked away from another connection, maybe recently or maybe for you. This person knows exactly who you are to them, exactly what they want, and um, uh, they're not, they're, their eye isn't, uh, I feel, going elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. And we have, I can't see past my own fears, and it's reversed here as well. I do feel um, this person isn't afraid about how they feel about you. Um, they're not, um, uh -huh. they're not uh, uh, taken aback by it either. This person does see happiness here. Um, it, it's interesting. Um, with the, I was the happiest I've ever been. Uh, it's my Ten of Cups. I actually um, really, really love this. Uh, this person... Some of you, it could be a past person, but I feel like this person understands that you're where their happiness lies, all right? I'm going to leave it there for you, Aries. Don't forget to like and comment. And we're not on Taurus's reading. Anyway, sorry. We're at nine minutes for Taurus. Beautiful. Let's get started for Taurus's reading. Um, sorry, um, I hate... Sometimes you just got to cleanse um, some energies out of your life. Uh, mm, that one hurt to do. Necessary, but hurt. Anyway, let's take a look here um, for Taurus's reading. Can you tell me um, what are Taurus's person's current feelings for Taurus right now? The current feelings that Taurus has. Um, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, you know when like there's like this a bunch of stuff going on? Uh, it's like that happening right now. Uh, it's crazy. 
Uh, what are Taurus's feelings for Taurus's person's feelings for Taurus right now? Anyway, let's take a look here. So we have as your overall the five of cups. Okay, let's look at the overall energy of the connection. We have the tower. Hmm. Again, I feel like there's a lot of chaos happening right now for your connection, Taurus, with this person and your life and their life. Um, it feels like there's a lot of upheaval. Um, chaos is and sorry, chaos energy is very interesting, isn't it? Right. Um, we need it. If things weren't chaotic, things would stay the same. Right. Um, uh, uh, things will never move. Things will never grow. Things will never evolve. It's the chaos that gets us moving. Right. It, it is right. If uh, human nature stays put, right. Uh, humans will stay exactly where they are if they had enough or if they had barely enough. I don't know if you noticed that, but it's just a thing, right? Um, it's the chaos that pushes us out of our comfort zone to fight and strive for more. I feel right now that your connection with this person isn't where not either of you want it to be. Um, and you both are very dissatisfied with everything. And what you both want is for things to move forward. But it feels like the only way to get that is through a little bit of that chaos, right? A little bit of a shakeup. Um, no big deal there. But I feel right now that your connection with this person is having lots of, of that shakeup, um, a lots of that chaos. And it is moving the connection one way or the other. Anyway, we have the page of wands for this person's feelings for you. We also have the eight of cups coming through. And it comes out with the queen of pentacles reverse. And then we have as the queen of wands. They do find you very attractive with that queen of wands on the table. I do feel with the page of wands in its reverse... I feel like this person has taken enough time, has gone through enough things in their life to know that they that they know, sorry, it's the funniest thing. They know a good thing when they see it. I hope this makes sense to you, Taurus. It's like they've looked at enough people. Um, they, they've poked enough people, right? Uh, this person's experienced enough things. Uh, um, they've learned enough about themselves to know what makes them happy and what they need. And it's like they've also enjoyed that single life, right? They've been single a while. They've been playing. They've been sowing their oats. This person had a lot of these experiences, um, Taurus, a lot. Maybe too much. Who knows, right? But enough of them to know that they see a good thing when they, they know a good thing when they see it. They know someone that's going to last uh, the rest of their life or a really long time when they see it, when, they, when this person looks at you, when they feel their feelings for you. And with that Queen of Pentacles in reverse, um, this person does find you very independent. One thing that comes to my mind, um, and I know it's like the craziest thing. It's not like it's for everyone, but some people like someone that keeps them in check a little bit. A little bit. It's like not crazy, but I don't think you have to watch this person like a hawk. But, you know, when you have... Um, uh, you know, when you when, when you have um uh, when you know what you want, know what you put up with, know what you won't. That Queen of Pentacles is very much like that, by the way. This is someone who's very um huh, they know exactly where their boundaries are. This person sees this in you. So whatever like bad habits that they picked up on or whatever bad energies that they they may indulge in, having you around them makes uh, uh, helps them feel more in alignment and helps keep them on their good side. All right. Um, we all have light and dark in us, but this person, again, has done enough, right? Uh, lived enough, experienced enough to know that they feel some real interesting feelings towards you. With the two of cups here in its reverse, I feel um, that this person needs help with balancing themselves out at times and bringing themselves into alignment. You do help them with that, but it has to do more with... Um, hmm, I don't know. I feel like you're going to wear the pants of the connection. I, I got to leave it like that. I know it's a crazy thing to say. It feels like that to a certain extent. But with the Queen of Wands being here and the Queen of Pentacles, um, I feel um, that this person sees you as very, very strong, right? Um, uh, a force to be reckoned with and someone not to cross as well. Anyway, let's grab a little channel message and then we'll um, end it there. So I want to make sure I'm at a good time. For your reading, we're at nine minutes. Okay, we're good. We're good. I see channel message, please. I may get a little guidance for you as well, Taurus. Don't worry. Um, a channel message, please, for Taurus's viewers. Uh, what does this person want to say? I'm making plans for us the Page of Pentacles. It's Page of Pentacles is a very small energy, but it's not no energy with that Page of Pentacles here. I do feel as well um, for you, Taurus. You. Hmm, I feel as well, um, uh, uh, Taurus, that you are. Um, 
that you that you make this person want to plan for the future. You make this person want to think of the future instead of just, uh, I want to say, flying by the seat of their pants. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles here and weighing out my options, I feel um, like this person really does feel balanced with you, balanced that they don't really feel with other people. Um, and again, this has to do, I feel, with some of the bad habits that they may have picked up on or some of the bad, uh, you know, we have... Um, patterns, right? Or we have uh, just like things that we do that are unhealthy, um, probably addictions. Um, I, this person knows that you are not the kind of person that's going to pick, sorry, put up with that. And that makes them all the more drawn to you. And the last card is we have is if pigs could fly is interesting. Um, you feel unbelievable to this person. And uh, that means something. Anyway, for your last card we have is Yang. Um, this person, I feel, sees you as the one that's going to be wearing the pants, Taurus. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. I want to thank you. Don't forget to like and comment, Taurus. So we're at 15, 15, for Gemini. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's take a look here. For Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can you tell me what are Gemini's um, person's current feelings for Gemini? But I want to know first, before we get to feelings, Gemini, I want to look at the overall energy surrounding the connection and then take it from there. Um, Gemini person's current feelings for Gemini. Um, but first, the overall energy surrounding the connection itself. Let's take a look here. What is the overall energy surrounding Gemini's connection with the person? With the two of wands here, interesting. I feel right now, Gemini, that this person has a choice between you and someone else, and they're not quite sure who to pick yet. With the two of wands being here, I feel like this is you. Um, in my experience, and just in life in general, people tend to always pick the wrong thing. I know it's real crazy to say, right? But the wrong thing teaches us more, and we're always drawn to the connections that are going to teach us more in the end, even if it's not the right choice to make for our lifetime. I feel like right now your connection has you and someone else or someone else and you, and one person is going to end up picking the wrong connection. Why? There's karma there. There's learning there. There's evolution there. There's more growth in that connection. And the reason why they're not going to they're not going to pick the one that's right or potentially you is that there's not as much growth there. You see how much bigger that one is than that? Um, it, it, it's standing taller. I do feel like this is someone who will have a really difficult time choosing you in the end or making the choice to pick you in the end. Nothing to do with who you are, what you bring, and how or how happy you are, even how I even want to say, um, sorry, I call for it the higher realms, though I energy guide me do another cleansing and clearing. Thank you. Anyway, um, I do feel with the two of wands here, it's not about how happy they are about you or um, how passionate or how fiery they feel. It has more to do with where their growth is right now. Their growth is going to be here. I know it's crazy. It's not, I feel, if this is you making this choice, you're going to choose the growth one, no matter how you see it. It's not possible. It's like we are naturally attracted to our karma, right? We're naturally attracted to connections that make us more healed, make us more whole, that help us grow, right? We didn't come here to um, sit around being lazy, um, Gemini, right? We came here to grow and to evolve, and this person is going to naturally make the choice to pick um, the one where you grow the most in, uh, the one that's going to be the most challenging. But as, again, for a, sorry, for this choice, it will be the one that may not last, or if it did poor them. All right. With the King of Cups being the overall energy as well, um, this person has a hard time. They don't like having a choice between left or right, right or left. They're going to choose the connection that, sorry, it's the funniest thing. They're going to choose the connection that, um, uh, that is going to give them growth in the end, even if, um, I make this real clear to you, Gemini, um, even if it's not you and you may be the better one, right? It's not the point though. There's growth in that other one. So let's take a look here. How do they feel about you then? So I know that there is a third, sorry, there's a, there's a little triangle going on here. How does, um, this person currently feel about Gemini? How does this person currently feel about Gemini? Gemini viewers? Let's take a look. How does this person currently feel about Gemini viewers, please? Um, sorry, this is like real crazy. Uh, we have the King of Wands reversed. Huh? We have the Tower and it's upright. Sorry, and it's reversed and then the Death. Overall, it's going to be the Eight of Pentacles. This person has you on their mind while they're working, um, kind of constantly. You know, one of the things that 
um, people, you don't have much fulfillment, much purpose, or maybe your life, your life's monotonous or things aren't going that great. You have a tendency to have, to just keep your mind on someone, um, continuously and just think, think and think, oh, sorry. I feel like this person, Gemini thinks about you all the time while they do a monotonous job. Um, I, I know it's crazy. Um, I, they may work with their hands, um, with this tower and it's reversed. <sighs> I have a clarifier, six of pentacles. Um, it, it's sorry. I just want to make sure I want to make sure I'm getting the right one. Yeah, never mind. Um, with this tower in its reverse, I feel like this person, um, when they met you, you changed a lot of the changed a lot of them, right? Uh, you've shifted this person's insides in ways that you wouldn't you couldn't even imagine. Um, but this person has yet to change their life. And one thing that I've noticed throughout my journey um, and when working with individuals, when the tower is reversed, you know, it, we when we meet a spiritual connection, right? When we meet that person, we change, change in crazy ways, but has the change manifested in your outside reality, right? Um, it feels like currently for this person, it hasn't. And the reason for this, I feel, is this one right here. They have may have the choice to make. Um, some of you, this could be them being single to being uh, or dating around. Uh, to uh, being committed to you, but I feel like there's a second person here, and this person is going to naturally pick the one that's going to make them grow even further, right? Grow even more. Um, with the death being here and the King of Wands in reverse, I can tell that this person, um, uh, they, uh, for some use, they may have done it already. They may be looking for a rebirth. That's actually what it feels like to me. Um, but the King of Wands is reversed. It feels like they're not taking any actions towards you. Not that they don't want to, but this person may not know, for one, maybe why they made that choice or why they even feel conflicted. Two, um, I, I feel they may, may not know how to explain this to you as well. All right? Sorry, I think that's it. Hmm. Um, uh, let's grab some channel messages, please, for... Um, uh, Gemini, Gemini, uh, viewers, channel messages for Gemini viewers. Uh, let's get some channel messages from this person. I'm ready to fight for this. this is the five of wands. It came out with, I kept so much of myself hidden. I do feel that this person does want to fight for this. They are, they are working though. Uh, they may work with their hands. They may do something very physical. I feel like with that five of wands on the table though, hmm. Sorry, I want to make sure I got this. It's just crazy. Five of Wands is about blocks, right? Um, competition. I feel like the competition still exists. All right. Um, I feel like there's someone else who still wants them. So they still want them. The other the real person wants them, or vice versa. Um, that's still here. That still exists. It may not go anywhere. Um, it's not about uh, again, who's more compatible at this point, right? Who, what connection is going to give them the most growth? This person is not healed all the way with the King of Wands reverse, right? They would, they wouldn't even be questioning uh, choosing another connection, right, or not. It feels like this person needs some work, all right. And we also have you feel so so far away. This the star. I feel like the distance between you and this person is purposeful. Um, one, I feel they've created it. Two, um, hmm. This person does hold you in high regard, right? Um, I've kept so much of myself hidden, and I could the tower again. I couldn't catch you because I fell too. I do feel like this person isn't um isn't ready to pick up uh, the slack of your connection or isn't ready to pursue you. And the reason for this is that this person has some work to go. I feel like they're thinking about you constantly, though. Um, you're on this person's mind constantly. Um, it's not about that right now. I feel like where they need to be physically, I feel, is uh, towards someone or something that's going to help them grow. And this is what's going to make them the person that they're meant to be, right? Um, and the, yeah. Uh, right now, right? I'm leaving like that for you, Gemini. Don't forget to like and comment and check out the rest of your chart. And we're at 23. 30, sorry, for cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a look here, cancer. Um, Let's see. Can you tell me uh, what's the overall energy surrounding Cancer's connection with their person? And let's look at their person's current feelings for them. Let's see. What is the overall energy surrounding Cancer's connection with their person and the um, current feelings? Overall energy, please, surrounding Cancer's connection with their person and um, the, the feelings. Let's take a look here. 
Let's see one here. Um, we have the overall energy being the two of cups, and it came out with the four of swords reverse. Interesting. Um, okay, and their feelings for you or this? Sorry. Um, I feel here, Cancer, um, that your connection with this person uh, is currently a little bit imbalanced. Uh, one of the things that comes to my mind with the Two of Cups is it feels like um, there's a push in a pool or I know. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. The Four Swords Reversed. Can I give you, I feel like you may be together right now, but you decide. I don't know. Right. Um, I feel like you could very well be together talking getting to know each other, um, doing your own thing. But I'm going to give you the craziest thing. It feels like there's times when you want them a lot, they pull away and then vice versa. But that's not what I want to say. I feel like neither one of you is really wanting to address what makes your connection imbalanced. And it doesn't feel like it's going to work um, in the long run right now. Um, it's not that it can't work in its totality. It can't work in its, uh, sorry, um, huh, to, eventually. It feels like right now there's imbalances in your connection, imbalances within yourself that start and then, then manifest in your connection. Um, but neither one of you really wants to face that right now. You don't really want to deal with it. Maybe you want to have your fun. Maybe you don't mind the roller coaster right now. Maybe you don't mind um, the hiccups. Um, huh, maybe it's worth it. In my experience, Cancer, it's always better just to face that, right? Just do it. Um, get through the icky stuff. Get through the bad stuff. Um, one thing that's coming to me from the higher realms, you may be addicted to the toxicity of the connection or the the ups and downs of it. Does it make sense? You know how you get used to a roller coaster? You don't want that roller coaster, right? No one does. Um, don't get too used to that roller coaster. Don't get too accustomed to it. In fact, you don't want those experiences. You want something more harmonious, more balanced, and more fulfilling. Um, and this requires you to heal, right? Things about yourself, things about the connection, and things about your life that are throwing you out of alignment and are interfering in this connection in some way, shape, or form. With their feelings for you, Cancer, we have the Knight of Cups. Um, they're all in right now, by the way. I'm pretty sure if you were to say, you know, we should fix some of this stuff. They will be down for that too, right? This person is willing to put the work in. Um, they really are with that Eight of Wands here. Eights are all about work, but I feel with that Knight of Cups here... Um, Pretty much anything you say, pretty much anything you're open to, they'll be down for as well. But someone has to start that. Someone has to, um, someone has to lay the first brick, right? Um, someone has to um, start uh, the healing first, right? It takes one person to break that pattern, and it feels like you, um, you and this person are caught in one um, where it's up, down, push, pull, good, bad, right? I don't think that's very fulfilling, but you do you. Um, but if you ever want to stop that, this person is more open, more than willing to address the elephant in the room with the eight of wands being here as well to find you very passionate. It's interesting. Um, this person lives life by their heart. I know it's the craziest thing with that Knight of cups, but they do want you to drink from their cup as well. Um, they want to make this offer and they want, they want to prove to you, right, that they're all in. The Three of Pentacles is reversed. They don't know you well enough. They love you. They have real passionate feelings about you, but they have not learned enough about you as well. They would love to learn more about you in the long run. They would love to get to know you deeper. But when you have an up-down, stop-go connection, um, it doesn't really... Uh, it, it doesn't really promote right vulnerability. It doesn't really promote um, an intimate connection. And this is what I feel like this person's missing from this experience is they want something more intimate with you than I feel what you currently have. With the Two of Pentacles being here and the High Priestess, they're sure that you two fit. They just don't know you well enough, maybe even themselves well enough. But I feel it's a projection at you. Um, with the High Priestess and the Diverse, they really do want to peel away that veil, right? And just... Um, honestly, go to town, right? This person wants to know you through and through, in and out, all right? Um, and they're very committed to that. I'm looking at the pillar here as well. Um, the pillar stands out to me a lot. I do feel the three of pentacles here. Hmm. I'm going to leave it like that. The pillar stands out to me for some reason. Anyway, let's take a look here. Can you tell me for Cancer, um, what does this person want to say to Cancer this day? Uh, what does this person want to say to Cancer this day? 
um, cancer, uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Again, I call forth the higher realms, my energy to guide me, help me. We have the, uh, sorry, the death. We have the five of swords coming out. And then we also have your last card is going to be there, someone else. Uh, with it, going over the three of pentacles, there may be, uh, there may not be. I feel a lot of you, there is not someone else. Their party, I feel, is unhealed stuff. Maybe shadow side. Or, um, uh, eh, I'll leave it like that. Um, if your connection has gone through this for too long, I feel like there could be someone else um, into the picture. Some A connection that may look more balanced rather than the one that they know is ultimately for them. Um, with the death being here in the Five of Swords, this person is looking for transformation. They are looking for... Um, evolution here um this person doesn't want to fight anymore they want to love that's the point right they've been hurt too many times this person doesn't want this anymore doesn't does wants to kind of get past this um how do you do that one person has to be the one to start it and the other person has to be open it feels like they're open or at least want to be um uh, they hope you are as well cancer all right i'm gonna leave it there i want you to know i love you cancer and don't forget to like and comment and we're at 30 20 for leo Oh, gosh. Mm. Let's take a look here, Leo. All right. Um, let's look at Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can you tell me what are Leo's person's current feelings for Leo right now? Um, what are Leo's person's current feelings? And can I get the overall energy surrounding the connection for Leo and their person? What are Leo's person's current feelings? Uh, what are Leo's person's current feelings for Leo and the overall energy surrounding the connection? Let's do one last time. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person, Leo, has told you stuff that they never told anyone else ever. Right. And when I tell you this, I mean, I mean it like this could be childhood trauma or, or stuff that they've gone through, things that they've kept secret for ever right and they're just gonna tell you and be like this is what happened or this is what i've gone through or um this is what i've experienced or this is what life has taught me right this person has gone through stuff that um, most people would never even know or even think they've gone through and they don't tell anyone about this right but this person has met you leo and they want to tell you these things um, they want you to know them in this way they want you to know them as deep as possible this person isn't really open to something shallow based. Um, they're looking for something that is all the way deep. With the hermit here and the four of pentacles, I feel like the current energy for your connection right now, um, hmm, it's an odd message, but I do have to say it. I feel like this person may be um, with that hermit and it's uh, and it's upright. They could be thinking about what to tell you or thinking about how to start this. Um, they, they want to have more intimate conversations with you. Um, uh, a more... Um, more intimate, more loving, more caring connection with you with that hermit here. Um, they're not necessarily looking for um, uh, something that I feel stays at the surface. This person wants, um, they want everything with you and everything matters to this person. So let's see, what is the current energy surrounding the connection? We have it right here. The Knight of Wands, mm, very interesting. How do they currently feel? We have the Queen of Wands, um, the Ten of Cups. And do you know when you meet someone and you're like, I don't want kids yet, but you want them eventually. Yeah, that's how they feel about you. I know it's real crazy to say, but they they want they want to do things that make kids, but they don't want kids right now. This person is very open to this experience, but not like immediately. They want to spend time to get to know you without anyone else involved, without anything clashing that and without anything getting in the way. With the Ten of Cups in its reverse, I can tell um, that this person... They know that there's way more fulfillment to be had here, way more um, uh, love, right? Way more experiences, way more energy to be exchanged. But with the Ten of Cups being in its reverse, they're not, hmm, they're not looking for everything all at once, and they're not looking to have like you know settle down and, and get married right away. They're not looking to have kids right away. They're looking to truly get to know you on, on a deep level. It's kind of the craziest thing, but I remember when I was working with my, the beans of light and I remember asking, um, I remember asking them or telling them, go slow, go slow, because I wanted to take my time during this, like this very beautiful process I was going through. Um, it was beautiful because I didn't want to rush it, right? I feel like this person looks at you this way and thinks that you're perfect. <laughs> And they don't want to rush that, right? They're looking to savor every bite of it. You know, it kind of reminds me of when I eat, I eat really fast. This person wants to eat real slow. 
right? They want to take a bite by bite. They want to chew, savor it. You know, when you do wine tasting like that, right? Um, this person wants that experience with you. I feel even with your body, um, with all of you. And it feels like your emotional body as well. With the four of cups being here, um, one, hmm, no, well, I guess that's, that does work. Hold on. Some of you, this person may come in. No, I don't want to say that. I feel like for some of you, they could be worried you're going to get another offer. That is part of it. But with the eight, sorry, the four of cups being here, or the ace of cups, which is really what it is, Um, they want to make you this offer. They hope you don't reject it. It may not seem like it's all you were deserving or all you expected. Let's say you were hoping this person would just come out and propose already, um, they're going to offer you exactly the right amount uh, with that Ace of Cups here. It's not everything. It's not a whole 10, is it? Right? No. Right? But it's enough. This person is open. Um, they want to open up that door and take it as, not as slow as possible. They want to savor it as much as possible. I hope that makes sense. We have the Two of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, maybe you, maybe them have been a little bit imbalanced. They're waiting for the right time for this connection to come together and um, for it to move forward in a prosperous way as well. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I'm burping. I was just drinking kombucha. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's take a look here. We're going to do, do Leo's reading. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can you tell me, um, uh, for Leo, um, what does this person want to say? I'm so chained to my past. Interesting. There could be another connection involved, but you would know that. Sorry, there is someone else. All right. I feel here, um, there could be something that's creating disharmony in your connection. I'm not quite sure what it is. It could be a person, place, or thing. Um, some of you, this could be past energy that you've dealt with. So you would know if that's the truth. I felt this here and it was the craziest thing to say. Some of you, this person picked someone else over you or ran after another situation over you. They didn't see what was right in front of them. They now see it, right? Um, this person's very open to you. They're very open to this experience, and they're very much um, uh, looking to make amends if they need to make amends. Um, uh, uh, course correct if they need to course correct and make things right if they need to make things right. With this, I have blinders on. This person is no longer blind. Um, they're seeing you for you uh, and they're seeing all that could be had here. And I want to say it like this one bite at a time. All right. Um, yeah, two of pentacles. Some of you, I truly feel like there was another person involved or another thing involved and they did not, they chose wrong, right? Um, um, sorry, if you had Gemini in your chart, I really would give that a watch. Anyway, I love you, Leo. Don't forget to like and comment. And um, we're now on, sorry, 37 for Virgo. Okay. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, uh, can I have a cleansing again and a clearing? Um, also, I'm um, sorry, there's like weird energies around me. Thank you. Sorry, I may have to cleanse. Let me see. This lighter, I swear, has fluid in it, but it does not light. Okay, can I have cleanse and clear the space? Thank you. Sorry, Virgo, I just... It's like heavy energies around me again. Mm -hmm. Persistence. Okay. Okay, there you go. Anyway, um, Virgo, 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 let's take a look here. I want to know more about Virgo, um, Virgo's reading. Um, can you tell me, um, what is the overall energy surrounding Virgo and how does Virgo's person currently feel about Virgo? Let's take a look. What is the overall energy surrounding Virgo this day? What is the overall energy surrounding the Virgo viewers this day? The overall energy, please. Um, sorry, it's the funniest thing. Um, I'm very glad I cleansed. Anyway, uh, what is Virgo's, um, uh, person's current feelings and the overall energy of the connection. Hmm. The overall energy is going to be the King of Pentacles right now. Hmm. You know, um, sometimes when you've been dating a long time or sometimes when you, um, 
when you meet someone, you kind of go tit for tat, right? And what I mean by that, um, Virgo, is you give them what they give you. And this is all right, I suppose, but in my experience, and I've learned this the hard way. <laughs> I always learn the hard way, don't I? Um, uh, with that King of Pentacles in reverse, one has to learn to own their feelings, even if the other person may not be ready to, or even if the other person isn't able to. With the King of Pentacles in reverse, I can tell that um, both you and them only give what you are receiving or only give what you think you receive. Um, so let's say if this person tells you they like you, you say the same, no more, no less. Let's say... Um, um, uh, you, you're texting and this person, you ask this person, do you want to hang out? Or they say, do you want to come over? You say, okay. I don't know. It, it just feels like there's a lot left unsaid or a lot left ungiven, a lot left, uh, unexpressed when it comes to how you both feel towards each other. And the reason for this is both you and them have a habit of giving only what you receive, never what you feel in your heart you should give. And that could be okay for regular dating people in their own dating lives. But what if you were to own up to how you feel and told this person the truth about how you felt in its, com in its complexity or in its um, entirety, right? Um, I wonder what would happen, right? Maybe they're ready for that. Maybe they're not. But I feel like your heart is telling you, Virgo, to say more or to do more or to express more and vice versa, and neither one's really doing that. So let's see your first card for their current feelings. We had the moon reversed. The moon reversed reminds me of, of being suppressed, right? Um, suppressing your, your 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 emotional body, suppressing your inner desires, right? Um, suppressing suppressing all of that, right? With the moon being here, sorry, it's the funniest thing. <laughs> oh, anyway, with the moon being here, I feel like both you and them are suppressing your inner desires right now, right? We have the three of cups coming through mm -hmm. and it's reversed. We have the devil. And then we also have the five of cups, the five of chalices and it's up, sorry, um, reverse. Okay. Um, with the devil being here, Virgo, hmm. Oh, uh, okay. So I feel like you maybe have a good connection in terms like physical um, dating. I don't think you have a good friendship or I don't think you're you're vulnerable enough or open enough with each other right now. With the devil being here, this is bondage, right? Um, this is things that are holding both of you back. This, there could be karma that makes you feel this way or vice versa, but these are not things that we necessarily have to honor or we have to be held back or restricted by. All of us have free will, right? All of us have the ability to say, no, I don't want that anymore. Or, I want something different. I feel like both of these are craving a better connection with each other, but neither one really knows how to get that. With the five of cups being in reverse, you both know that there's way more to be had here. And neither one is looking at this as a cup half empty. Both of these are looking at it as a cup half full, but at the same time with the moon in its reverse, there is still suppression. Nonetheless, there is still, um, um, there, there's, there's still, um, uh, there's, there's, there's still both of you holding back. All right. Um, for the overall, we have the sun in its reverse. I do feel, hmm, with the sun being reversed, Virgo, um, this tells me that there is happiness, but there isn't anywhere near as much happiness. Um, there is love here, but there isn't anywhere near as much love as there could be, right? It's like you're not um you're not losing this connection. You're not um uh huh um you're not losing the connection, you're not um you're, you're, you're not incompatible. It just, it feels like you're not having the necessary victory that you necessarily, that you both should um, feel like you should have that overflow, right? Um, it feels like that's missing. The reason for this is this is suppression, right? Um, it, it's both of you is holding back right now rather than giving it your all or giving it what you feel called to. With the moon in its reverse though, um, the message here is for you to um, open up, right? And give this person more than you have before or yeah, um, because I get the feeling here, Virgo, either they're waiting for you or they can't. And um, if you want things to stay the same, then it's going to keep being that way. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's get channel messages. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> let's get channel messages, please, for Virgo. Um, what does this person want to say to Virgo? Um, we have, I wish I told you the truth. Interesting. We also have the Ace of Wands and 
Uh, we have the last card being the King of Wands. I feel um, that this person feels like you are fate. You are fate to meet. That you are destined to meet in this lifetime. Um, there's a lot of truth that they can't get past their lips, um, can't get past their throat center, or can't even get out or articulate. Um, know that it's there. Um, you may want to help them. I will give you like the best example um, that I can possibly give. It's like when I'm channeling Virgo, and I have a hard time putting into words that which I'm channeling, right? It's like, I don't know. I don't, it's like, it's the most annoying thing. I feel it's somewhat like this for you, Virgo. And what I mean by that, that this person may need someone to help them say it first, all right? Or by saying it first. And um, that will be really helpful for this person to break free out of whatever is constricting them right now. With this um, Wheel of Fortune and that page of, uh, sorry, page of Pentacles, I can feel that, um, that this person uh, does, show you in other ways, um, express to you in other ways, but they're not quite able to express to you how they feel. Um, I feel through like through the written word or um, articulated or through their emotional body. They have to do it another way. But if you showed them first how it's done, I feel like this person can follow suit. All right. I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. Don't forget to like and comment and uh, check out the rest of your chart. And we're at 45. Okay, sorry. Just like there's just so much stuff happening anyway. Um, can I get um a Libra, um Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus? Can you tell me what are Libra's person's current feelings for Libra right now? What are Libra's person's current feelings? Uh, Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus. What are Libra's person's current feelings for Libra right now? And can I have the overall energy of the connection? What are Libra's person's current feelings for Libra right now? Beautiful. Okay, let's take a look here. What is the overall energy surrounding the connection between Libra and the person? We have the Queen of Cups and the Death. Hmm. I'm sorry, that's like going real crazy. Um, for their current feelings, we have the Three of Swords, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and then we also have the Three of Wands. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So the first thing I got was there was someone else involved that interfered in your connection that kept you and this person's connection from transforming and evolving into more. One thing that comes to my mind is it could be an X, because it would death in its reverse. Um, all too often people hold on to that which they need to let go of um, because, well, for one, I feel they're still healing or they, they don't want to let go of it yet. Um, <laughs> with the Queen of Cups, though, for your overall energy, I feel both you and this person may be healing right now. Going within, you may, be, may have withdrawn yourself from the connection or from uh, the space. Um, with Libra being on the table, though, I can tell um, with Libra being on the table, sorry, with, uh, that, with Lib your, your sign Libra being here, I, I can tell Libra that, um, that both you and this person are in a healing cycle. With the death being here, you could be purging stuff. If I were to give you what I probably, it feels like it is, I feel like there could have been a third party. But now this person is over and they're trying to detox themselves from that queen of cups, uh, from that energy. And they're trying to pull out all of that, um, that those, you know, all that energy that existed between them and that connection. Um, it's not, I know it seems kind of crazy. Um, although I, I mean, I've never noticed it before, but, um, it, you can't, I, I, I feel like it's really hard for you to switch uh, between being with someone and going to another person, right? It's like there needs to be that in between to like detox, to, to, um, reaffirm yourself or, you know, recenter yourself, bring, bring yourself back into alignment. Um, but with the death here, I feel like the transformation is taking some time for how this person feels for one, they hope and pray that this third party type situation didn't get in the way of what could still be here. And with the wheel of fortune is reverse, it is, it isn't true obviously, but they feel it was the right person, wrong time or uh, right, wrong person, right time. I don't know, but they are really, really hoping that they haven't uh, burned this bridge and they haven't ruined their chance with you, whether they have or haven't, it does feel though, like, um, someone else got into the mix and has kind of kept you and this person apart. The three of swords here as well, they feel like they've hurt you. Um, especially if they chose someone else or especially if things didn't end in the way that, you know, everyone wants things to end perfectly, but when do they, um, this person's hoping that that doesn't stop them from having a do over with you. Or that doesn't stop them from having that second chance, that rebirth with you with judgment. Um, the three of wands is here. You have expanded this person. One thing I am seeing Libra, um, 
even though uh, you may not feel um, um, uh, like you've done much for this person, know that you've expanded their mind and brought a lot of healing to them. I, I It's like, um, you know, when uh, you meet someone, they just change you. That's how they feel. Sorry, I think that's what I got. Um, let me see what's behind you. The sun in reverse. I feel with the three of wands being here, um, uh, uh, three of wands being here, I can tell that this person, um, I'm oh, sorry, I just, I had to clear something from off of me again. Um, One second. Sorry about that, Libra. Just gonna make sure. Hmm. Oh, never mind. I mean, with the three of wands being here, Libra, I feel like this person, um, when they're around you, they feel very expanded. You help expand this person's mind and help them see what else is out there. With judgment and the sun in its reverse, I can tell um, with that judgment being here that this person does want to rebirth. Um, they may not be ready for it with the sun in its reverse because they need more time to heal. They need more time to bring themselves back into balance. All right. So I call for the higher realm, the divine energy that guide me to help cleanse and clear me in my space and bring me into ground the alignment. Thank you. Sorry. Um, it's just. Again, a lot of stuff, a lot of energies around right now. Um, uh, never, uh, never uh, stop cleansing yourself, Libra. Anyway, let's take a look here. What does this person want to say to Libra this day? We have as your first one is going to be, this has taught me what pain really is. I do feel like this person's in a painful cycle. They are healing. They are growing. But they need more time to overcome this and to finish this off as well. Uh, we also have, I'm afraid of where this path leads. Um, one thing that this person does have fear about, um, Libra, uh -huh. one is this old situation. I feel sabotaging the, your connection forever, hurting you, sabotaging your connection forever. And the third one is, well, I don't know what's going to happen with us if I were to pursue this. I know it's crazy. Um, uh, you know, there's fears goes everywhere, but this person does have a, uh, they do have a lot of fears at play. We have Yang here as well. Um, Yang is all about action oriented energy. This person does want to take actions towards you. They do want to make a move towards you, but they want to make it when they're ready. Not when, not when, um, a Libra with that Yang being here, um, before they're ready, they need more time, right? This person is healing. They are growing and they need more time to, um, they need more time to become who you deserve, not who they are right now. And the other one is the sun. <laughs> they see things clearly, but it doesn't mean that they are at the best place right now to take action. Okay. I'll leave it like that for you. Um, don't forget to like and comment Libra and check out the rest of your chart. Let's see. 52 for Scorpio. Okay, let's take a look here. We're now going to do Scorpio's reading. Um, let's do Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's see. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, mm. uh, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, sorry, Scorpio. It's like the funniest thing. Anyway, let me cleanse and clear myself again. Sorry. Sorry about that. Let's look at the overall energy surrounding your connection. And can we also look at how this person currently feels about Scorpio, please? Thank you. I see Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, how does what is the current energy surrounding this connection? We have the Chariot Reverse. Interesting. Um, I feel the Chariot Reverse for me is a connection that has stopped in its track. I remember when I was first learning tarot, and I was constantly asking about my twin Scorpio. 
I got to be real honest with you. That Terrier car used to get me real happy. Um, I used to make me feel real good and used to really make me feel like things are about to change or move. Um, this was a time period in my life that I never use reverses, right? Um, or reversals. Um, but I feel here, um, this isn't looking great. Um, it's, uh, it's not looking the best. Uh, the connection right now that exists between you and them is stalled in some ways, stopped in some ways, and it's not looking the best in others. With the justice in its reverse, as well as the page of swords, I can tell that, um, I can tell that um, uh, with Justice and Traverse that things are unresolved as well. It's not just the fact that you two are separated. It's not just the fact that things are stalled and things aren't moving. It's also the fact that that um, there hasn't been forgiveness given or received. There hasn't been a resolution made for this connection. And there hasn't really been any... Um, there hasn't really been any... Uh, I, I want to say, you know when you... You know, like you had a fight and then you left each other and you don't speak again. It, it feels like that. Or um, uh, let's say you are, uh, um, you go out and they stand you up and then you never text again. It's something along those lines that it, en it ended or did it end? And it feels like things are up in the air unfinished. Uh, with the Page of Swords here, neither one of you really wants to extend the olive branch to communicate with the other because you're very much afraid about what's going to happen or what will be said during this conversation. So let's take a look here. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, can you tell me, um, how does this person currently feel about Scorpio? Let's take a look here. How does this person currently feel about Scorpio? We have the first card is going to be the Six of Swords reversed. The Emperor in its upright. Interesting. Hmm. You do make this person, Scorpio, want to be stronger. Um, and want to be uh, all, the best that they can be. And that's a big deal. I feel like you're very inspiring to this person. I feel like what you do, the energy that you bring, and how they feel about you really makes this person... Um, it really awakes this person up. With the Page of Wands and its reverse, I can tell that this person has taken a lot of time to look at you, but... Everything that they feel about you, they stop themselves from from it moving them. Um, let me say, let me see. So I feel like they find you very passionate. Um, I feel like they find you very inspiring. But does that push this person to take action towards you, or to make a move towards you, or to extend that olive branch? Uh, no. <laughs> um, with the sorry, this is the funniest thing. The six of swords here and the two of wands in its reverse. I can tell that you're. Um, I can tell that with the six of swords in its reverse that you are. Um, uh, that they've not moved on from you as much as you haven't. Uh, uh, they've not uh, huh, let you go just as much as uh, any more than you have. Um, and this person's life's a little bit stuck as a result. With that Queen of Swords here, it's interesting. For one, they don't want to face this. Yeah, they're not looking to face those, those 21 questions. It's not the only thing, though. This person... Um, they don't want to know if you have moved on from them. They don't want to check up on you. I don't see this person watching you. I don't see this person keeping tabs on you. Um, the star for me can be the social media. So they don't even look there. This person isn't ready to hear what you got to say, um, what you got to, what you feel, or even um, what you want from them right now because they are still they're still healing, I guess, or, or they're not ready to. Um, it's not that they're lost in La La Land with that emperor. That's very grounded energy, but um, it does feel with the Scorpio being on the tape or Scorpio, uh, your Scorpio reading, but Scorpio energy being here. Um, this person does suppress their emotional body right now, right? So let's take a look here. Um, ooh. They are working hard on themselves. We have the Eight of Pentacles. I am seeing this person uh, working, keeping themselves distracted, and not really uh, doing too much. We also have, you deserve someone better than me, the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, okay. And it came out with the 19. I see things clearly now. Um we also have as your overall I'm way not my option. I don't feel like this person is going to take any action towards you right now, um, Scorpio. But know that this person is thinking about, uh, is is potentially thinking about it, right? Um, they hold themselves back. They with they withdraw. They reframe. But at the same time, they're not ready to do it. Um, with this, I see things clearing out. They do. Um, but this also comes with it comes with creature comforts. But it also comes with that Queen of Wands. Um, sorry, Queen of Swords here. 
maybe even a queen of wands, um, uh, huh, what they're going to have to, uh, or sorry, the person they're going to have to get through to get to your good side or to get back in or, or to get back on your, uh, your loving side. Um, they're, they, they see it all. How does that make sense? Like they, not only do they see what they've done wrong, but they know exactly who they're going to have to pass to to get you. And this person is not ready for that one yet. Right. That queen of swords is, um, that Queen of Swords is, is a killer, right? Uh, is someone who uh, who wants the truth and nothing but the truth. And this person just doesn't. They, it's not that they don't want to give it. You know, those situations make some people squirm. I feel like this person may not handle those that uh, that well. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like that for you, Scorpio. <coughs> don't forget to like and comment. And we're at 59. Oopsie. Oh, thank you. 59 minutes. Oh. Sorry, I keep forgetting about this. Um, one second. I just want to go. Fifty-nine um, minutes for set series. Okay. All right, let's take a look here. So Sagittarius, um, I, was, I was reading, can you tell me what are Sagittarius's person's um, uh, current feelings for Sagittarius and what is the overall energy surrounding the connection? So let's take a look here. Sagittarius, uh, energy in the cards. What are, uh, what's the, huh, the current energy surrounding Sagittarius's connection with their person and how does this person currently feel about the Sagittarius viewers? Let's see. Okay, so we have the high priestess in reverse. Interesting. I feel um, mm -hmm. um mm -mm -mm -mm. one thing I feel like this person is very intuitive. I feel like they actually have really good intuition. They have real good um foresight, right? Um, it's an odd thing. I'm gonna give you like the craziest thing I I can possibly give you, Sagittarius. I'm just gonna throw this out there. I feel like this person got some good foresight. They have good abilities. They they are they're really good at knowing how things play out. But when it comes to you, it's like a blink. Um, do you know when you are watching one of those really old movies? Or I guess it's just a regular movie these days. But you know it, the film, and it just it hits the end of the film, and it's just like it just goes around like that. That's what they see when they look at you and they think about the future with you. Does it make sense? Um, that's what they feel as well. They don't know, right? It's not that they don't know how they feel. They don't know how it's going to play out. And it feels like that plays into a role in their feelings for you. I know it's crazy to say, but it's there. Um, this person, I feel, has a tendency to use um, how I, I feel. Sorry. They have a tendency to use um, their own innate abilities to determine how they feel about people and how and how likely they are to invest in the connection and how likely they are to um open themselves up to someone, right? In my experience, um, we don't always get this, right? You know, we have to just trust our gut. We have to just trust our um, our own um, our own selves and just go with our heart. Um, but this person likes to use something else to do that. I feel like it's their abilities. Uh, I feel like it's psychic gifts. That's actually what it feels like to me. Um, it's very key uh, for this person. So let's take a look here. For a Sagittarius, um, let's look at the current energy with the Ten of Wands, and it comes out with the High Priest, sorry, the High Priestess, the Hierophant. And for this person's current feelings, we have the King of Cups reversed, the Knight of Wands upright, and the Ace of Swords reversed, and the Six of Pentacles. Um, I second the message I just gave you. They invest in connections that they feel are going to pay off, or they feel are going to pay off enough to, for the investment. Um, they're very reluctant. They could have commitment issues. Um, they may not. Because nine of wands does feel does give me that vibe, um, but this person is very 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 focused on if I did all this work and I committed, w what would I get from it? It's like I hope that makes sense. Like an attachment to results or an attachment to success. Um, this person is very what they want, how they see things, and how they operate is someone who truly needs to know how things are going to play out before they do it, or at least at the very least have a good hunch. And when they look at you, when they feel their feelings for you, they just have no idea. And it kind of makes this person wary at times and reluctant to pursue this. Um, with the King of Cups and the Reverse Stone, the Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords is all about success. Um, it is an odd thing. I feel like because this person's emotions or their love is so... Uh, um, 
contingent on um, whether there'll be success there, their emotions for you or their uh, emotional body can go up and down, or it may not be as consistent as it could be. And it has nothing to do with how they truly feel in their heart. It has nothing to do with how they truly feel um, when it comes to when they look at you, when they view you, when they're spending time with you. It has everything to do with the fact that this person, they just don't know, will there be success here? Will this be worth it? Some of you, it's such an odd thing to say, they may have to put some stuff down in their life that they want in order to have you that they may be reluctant to do so. And will it be an equal exchange with the Six of Pentacles here? And that's the real important question that someone's asking themselves. Will it? I don't know, right? Uh, it, it could be, right? But again, this person is looking for um, insights. Uh, a really good way to describe this, Sagittarius, is when I do private readings, people always ask me, what's going to happen between me and so-and-so? Or should I dump them? And I'm just like, you need this there. You know, it's just, it's not, those aren't like the best questions, right, <laughs> um, to ask. Um, we shouldn't make our questions based on the end result. We should really look uh, when it comes to um, what we currently feel. And sometimes, right, we can invest in something or even uproot our entire life for something that won't last that long, but in the long run will be a godsend for us, right? Um, but this person, how they operate, how they move, and how they make decisions is all about that tit for tat. Um, with the Page of Pentacles in its reverse, there's something about plans that they have for themselves, ambitions that they have for themselves, destinations that they want to reach in this lifetime um, that play a role into their feelings for you. Um, with the Hierophant, it could be their purpose. Um, uh, eh. Sorry, it's the Hermit reversed and the Ten of Swords. It's something that they feel faded to do. Sorry, um, I don't know why I just yawned. Um, something that they feel very faded to do, something that they feel is for them. They'd have to either give that up or do it less to have you, and this is what plays a role. Anyway, I think I explained that good enough. Let's see. Um, can we get some cards here, please, for Sagittarius? Um, Sagittarius is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do you tell? What do you? This person want to say. Do what do you even see in me? Mm -mm -mm. You know, um, I feel like this person may ask you these questions because they want to know. Um, uh, they want to know how they feel. Um, I know it's crazy. I know it's like real crazy for me to say, but th this is the question you ask yourself. Like, like what what do you see in me? Because they're trying to figure out what they see in you because they don't know. Like, why would I even um, make the sacrifice? Why would I even give this a go without knowing the truth about how it's going to end? Like, why, why, why? I, I don't know because your inspiration is leading you there. I, I it's it's very key that there's that this person is meant to walk this path. One of the biggest things that I will give you. Um, and it's okay to say is, but um, when we're walking into our, our our healing cycles, we never know. Um, uh, we never know uh, uh, how things are going to play out before we walk into them. In fact, we're not meant to, right? If we did, we'd never walk into them. What would be the point anyway? This, I feel like there is something, some lesson this person's learning when they walk towards you uh, that makes them unable to see the truth. But whatever that is, it's no big deal. Anyway. Oh, okay, I'm waiting for the right time. You've taught me so much. Um, They do wonder about the investment of this connection. Is it worth investing in? Um, With that three of pentacles here, they, are, they do want to build with you. If you were to put all of this nonsense aside, it's yes, right? Um, but because all this factors in, it filters through truth and they end up with whatever the hell I just said, right? Um, this person has a hard time with that one. Anyway, they could be going home to themselves. Why? Very obvious reasons as to why, right? Um, this person is looking to make their choice from a place of um, not knowing. Um, I feel certainty when there is no certainty, right? Um, and this person has to just trust themselves, trust their gut, and make that move. I want to say take a leap, all right? I'm going to leave it like that for you, Sagittarius. Don't forget to like and comment. And we're now moving towards Capricorn. <laughs> okay let's take a look here capricorn capricorn sun moon rising and venus can you tell me what are capricorn's person's current feelings for capricorn and can you also tell me um Uh, what is the current energy surrounding Capricorn's connection, please? Capricorn's current feelings for Capricorn, and what is the, the surrounding energies uh, surrounding Capricorn this day? 
<laughs> oh, Capricorn. Uh, what is the current our overall energy strongly? Capricorn, we have the Five of Swords in its reverse. And then we have the Queen of Swords in its upright. Hmm. I feel like this person, Capricorn, is on your bad side. Um, you know, they really, really, really want to pretend like they don't care they're on your bad side, like they don't mind they're on your bad side, that they don't give an F they're, they're on your bad side. But I just get that feeling with that Five of Swords in reverse, with this person looking right there, that they do, right? Um, with the Five of Swords reverse, this can be past resentment. They could be bitter. They could be angry. In my experience, when we make mistakes, we have a tendency to get very angry at everyone involved instead of just looking at ourselves, right? I feel like this person is projecting some of that anger, projecting some of that blame um, out at you instead of actually uh, being accountable. But they tell themselves, and I swear they're telling themselves, I don't care. Who are they to be mad at me? I don't know. Um, uh, I'll be just fine without them, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's a good stone. Anyway, um, I feel like this person cares more than they say. They care more than they think. Uh, they care more than they're willing to let on right now. And it's nothing to do with that. I feel, though, that they're on your bad side. And they tell themselves they couldn't care less, all right? For how they currently feel, we have the star reversed. We have um, the seven of pentacles reversed. And then we have the queen of wands. Interesting. This is a good, a good combination for you. And then the overall, we have is judgment. Mm. So the first thing I have for you, um, a Capricorn, um, this person feels all sorts of ways about you. Um, one thing they tell themselves is that this is a waste of time. Uh, I know it's crazy. They're dissing you right now. Deal with it. it. It's just it's it's just something that's happening. I feel like you're in your energy right now. I feel like you're in your power right now. I feel like you just you know your worth, your value. You're looking good. You're feeling good. They can't really get you down. That's probably making them even more angry. But with the star being in its reverse, they tell themselves that you're not all that in a bag of chips or um, something along those lines. And they were better off not investing in this. But in the long run, this person is going to see and actually have uh, that epiphany. But when we're in the thick of things, um, Capricorn, when we're working through stuff, uh, Capricorn, we're not. We're not always seeing things as clearly as we think we are. In fact, that anger is pushing them forward whether they know it or not, right? Um, uh, that that resentment, I feel, is pushing them forward. That bitterness, uh, that bitter pill that they have to swallow, is pushing them forward better. Uh, sorry, uh, for better, sorry, for better or for worse, right? Um, it feels like this person um, tells themselves all these things um, while simultaneously looking at you. See these, this looking right there, this one looking right there. Like this person has eyes on you. They love your mind as annoying as that is too sharp. If you ask me, and then they love your, uh, your body, right? Your, how attracted they are to you. It, it feels like, um, oh, I don't explain this to you. It, it just, it feels like you, you're a big source of frustration for this person. Um, anyway, uh, I see one, one, one on the camera. Anyway, I just want to let you know that, uh, for judgment here in the 10 of swords. Wow. I feel like things ended badly between you and them. They may feel like you stabbed them in the back. They may, you may feel the same. I really don't know, <clears throat> but there was some backstabbing of some kind. And this person is not feeling that great about this connection, not really feeling that great about you. And they're truly, truly telling themselves that they don't care. Um, it doesn't matter to them or it doesn't move them. If we get triggered by something, it moves us in some way, shape, or form. There's, that's the point, right? When something doesn't trigger us, that's when you know, I guess that's true. But, you know, you can still get mad at annoying stuff. But you know what I'm saying here, Capricorn. I feel like when this person tells themselves they don't care, it's it's them caring, right? I feel like when this person tells themselves that um, – um, that just that, that they should, they wish they never did it. You know, you know that it was the opposite, right? They always they 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 wish they had or they wish they did it right. This person I feel is hurting right now, and I and the only thing that they can do is lash out at the person that they love most, which is you right now. So let's take a look here, Capricorn. Um, let's look at Capricorn as a someone rising in Venus. What are Capricorn's person's current feelings for Capricorn this day? We have your first one. Sorry, it's the funniest thing. Um, uh, uh, I don't know about that one, Capricorn. I'll be real honest with you. I'm always honest. Um, I don't know about that one, but I do know that this person, if they did come your way today, it would not be the greatest, right? They need some time, I guess, right? Um, I think there would be a fight, if I'm being honest with you. Um, they do ask this, and it's more in the back of their mind and the forefront. Um, 
it's an odd thing, but you know how we sometimes use a person to get like a revenge body or a person to get a revenge job or to put our life together because we're going to prove them wrong. This is that energy. Does it make sense to you, Capricorn? Um, they're going to do everything they can to prove you wrong here. It's not that you even think, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's again, it's nonsense, but it's here with that. I'm ready to fight for this. They, 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 they they're, they're fighting something, right? I think they're fighting their feelings for you. Um, they're also fighting all the stuff that comes with it. They do wonder if you want them back or not. Um, uh, I don't think that would change too much. Uh, how their energy and their, their perception towards you right now, this person's got a lot to work through. And until they work through that, um, it's like going to be friendly fire. Do you know when you're in a battlefield and, uh, it's just like, there's like those, those, the, the, you know, the missiles and bullets are flying everywhere. It feels like this to me. Um, um, like that. You don't want to get put your head up, right? Don't do it. Um, this is someone who's not about to. Um, so they're not gonna put their head up right now. All right. I'm gonna leave it like that for you, Capricorn. Don't forget to like and comment. Um, I do appreciate all of you. And we're at one, fourteen, sorry, ten for Aquarius. Okay. Okay, Aquarius, someone rising in Venus. Can you tell me what are Aquarius's person's current feelings for Aquarius? And what is the overall energy surrounding Aquarius this day? What is Aquarius's person's current feelings for Aquarius? And what is the overall energy surrounding Aquarius this day, please? Aquarius's connection. Let's take a look here. Um, their first one we have is the High Priestess and the Two of Cups. Uh, okay. I want to recenter myself. I'm calling in my the, the, the higher realms of my energy to guide me, help ground me again, and get, help me receive clearly. And let's look at this person's current feelings for you. Um, Aquarius, we have the three of pentacles, four of pentacles, and then we have the moon in its reverse, with the overall being strength in its reverse. Okay. Um sorry, I just I, I'm really trying to like ground myself here. I need a stone. Um uh, use a stone for grounding and protection. Thank you. Sorry, just um, a lot of energy coming through. Um, with the high priestess here, I feel like your connection right now with this person has a lot of imbalances. Um, it, it may be there is imbalance in terms of giving and receiving, but it feels like there's an imbalance in love with the two of cups being on the table, right? Um, maybe one person is more into it than the other, or sorry. Maybe one person is more into it than the other, or maybe things are not working out the way that they want. Um, with the high priestess here, neither one of you is really opening up that can of worms and talking about it. But what's interesting is I feel, um, sorry, I feel here with that um, the high priestess on the table that neither one of you uh, is, is opening up the can of worms, but things are coming to light nonetheless. Um, it's not that this connection is over, right? Uh, this connection cannot exist anymore. But what I feel here the most, Aquarius, is that um, there are imbalances that may not fix in the end, that may not be able to be resolved right now or in the long run. Um, with the Two of Cups in its reverse, um, hmm, there could be an imbalance in... Uh, Uh, imbalance in your feminine mask energies. I feel distortions, if I'm being honest with you. With the Three of Pentacles being here, this is the card that is all about enlightenment, right? Because the Pentacles have yet to be, right? You have the scholar, the priest, and uh, the sculptor. I feel um, both of you are... Both of you still have a vision of the future with each other. Both of you still have... Um, um, sorry, I think so. All right. Oh, I may have to cleanse again once again. Sorry, everyone. Um, Cleansing clear everything. Thank you. Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, um, 
to cleanse again. Anyway, with the uh, the three of pentacles being here, I feel like both you and this person are still building a future together, still wanting that. What's interesting here is it's a random of the three of pentacles being um, uh, fully formed. I feel both of you, if you were to um, put your heads together, this could work and there could be um, a real chance at fulfillment. With the three of pentacles in its reverse, it does require you to open up further or more. Um, one thing that would help, especially with the high priestess being here, is communication. The high priestess has a tendency to hide things behind the veil rather than showing their cards right rather than being uh, more open and rather than um uh, putting it all out on the table right i feel like either you or them have a tendency to hold back you or them have a tendency to um keep yourself to yourself rather than opening up in a bigger and better way uh, with the four of pentacles though in its reverse i can tell um, I can tell that opening up, right, your heart space is the key to bringing your connection back into balance and alignment, especially with strength being here. You know, if it were easy to open up our heart cap, uh, or sorry, Aquarius, it would, um, everyone would do it, right? In fact, that wouldn't be guidance, right? It, it wouldn't be something you hear. Um, it, it would be something that everyone would do naturally. I feel that this is probably one of the biggest things for both of you is to learn to open up your heart more naturally um, and to open up your heart more completely to one another. The moon reverse um i always I, I took it earlier as this i'm gonna it's coming through again there i feel like there's a suppression of your emotional body um a suppression of your um of your feelings for each other and opening up your heart is going to be the key to how you express your feelings more and how you open yourself up more to receiving and giving all right i am being called to remind you about the i don't know that crustacean that's here um it's very much cancer energy but crustaceans uh they're they're very they're very snippy <laughs> you may have this in your connection but um they have a very hard exterior right um for protection but it, when you're in an intimate connection do you need to have that hard exterior no um op um right now a really good thing for you to do is for you to open yourself up more and um and be more vulnerable, all right? With the hermit in its reverse here as well, there are parts of yourself that you're not opening up to share with one another. And this is, I feel, is the key to bringing harmony to your connection, to bringing balance to your connection. Um, sorry, that does work. Um, uh, I, it's key, all right? I, I would even um, follow your heart, follow your guidance about where, to, where you should go, even if it's something outside the box, to really open yourself up to express yourself in a deeper and more meaningful way. So let's take a look here for Aquarius. Um, hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, just I just real annoying. Uh, we have as your first ones. I listen to every word you said. Um, there is a, a message that comes through, especially if you resonate with the fact that you could be the high priestess. You're going to want to, um, uh, uh you, you don't want to have to have this person read in between the lines, right? Or in between your words, um, uh, be more clear about what you're saying. They are listening, right? Um, this person would like more clarity there or vice versa. Um, we have the Hierophant. I shouldn't have treated you like all the rest. Um, this is about how we are, or how we, our customs and our belief systems and even how we conduct ourselves in our relationships. I feel like right now you're dynamic, you're, um, your interactions with each other are too consistent with the same, I feel, result, right? Or, yeah, for what you're getting. You're going to want to change that up. Um, why don't we try opening up? Such an odd thing. I'm going to just give it, and I find this the most craziest thing. What if you did your nighttime ritual in the morning and your morning ritual at night? And I I, I don't, I know it's like the craziest thing that you could possibly tell someone, but um, I've been doing this lately, and I got to be honest with you, um, um, uh, uh, Aquarius, I, it's really helped me. <laughs> it, it's, it's brought, uh, um, uh, variety to my day. Um, uh, try something like that, mix it up and give it a go. And we also have, you make me feel at home. You do. This is not the point though, right? Um, they want to feel at home in you as well. Um, they want a deeper connection and it feels like both of you do. Um, they're looking, they want you to open up in ways that you, uh, that, uh, are, huh. you know what? Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. I feel like they just want you to, they want to just uh, have more of you, right? Um, I, this isn't, um, I feel like this person may come across as indecisive or cold. Um, it's them dealing with stuff, battling with stuff, has nothing to do with how they feel about you, all right? I'm going to leave it like that, Aquarius. I want to thank you for being here. Don't forget to like and comment. And I'm going to move over to Pisces anyway. Um, for Pisces.
Oh, God. Okay. Anyway. Um, and I think all of that helped. And I'm so sorry as well. So let's take a look here. Pisces, 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 Pisces. So can you tell me, um, what are what is the overall energy surrounding Pisces connection? And can you also tell me what are Pisces' this person's uh, current feelings for Pisces this day? What is the overall energy and what are this person's current feelings? Overall, there we go. Uh, we have a seven of cups here. Um, so I feel Pisces that your connection with this person and it, the, the, I could be the craziest person in the world. I don't know, but maybe it's online or maybe it's, um, you've only had very, very limited interactions with this person. And you're chatting. I have like the weirdest thing I really want to say to you. And it's like the craziest thing. Um, maybe you chat with them and then in person, they're very cold. And you think, am I chatting with the right person? I know, I know, I know. It sounds like it's it, like, it, you must be crazy, right? Like it, 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 this, like it, this can't be real. I don't know. I know it sounds like the, I know I'm saying this, I, I get it, but there's just this feeling coming through here, Pisces, that you're like, chatting with them. You're like, damn, they're amazing. But in person, it never happens or you've never met them in person. And it's like, I don't know how to explain that. Um, it's driving you nuts, right? It, it's making you crazy. Um, it feels though like your connection right now is very up in the clouds. It hasn't grounded in the physical reality and it's making you question, is this real? Right? Uh, we have the star. I'm actually going to pull this one out. I know I see it, but I'm going to pull it. But um, uh, we have the star here. It, it, it's a lot of you. I associate the star with social media. It feels like it could be social media or something like it. it but it's so clear that you're like, hmm, am I talking to the right person? Or it, am I being um, a catfished? I, it feels like that. I, I swear. I swear. It feels like that. Maybe, right? Maybe. Let's take a look here. We have the six of swords and we have the moon. The moon's come out. Are they being catfished? We have, um, I want to say no, <laughs> but whatever. I'm, I, I mean, I'm just going on a hunch here. Anyway, so for this person's, uh, your current energy, your current connection, neither one is willing to open up any further than what you already have. Feels like you did a lot, but you both are kind of feeling that same feeling. Are they real or am I being tricked? Um, is this going on in my head or, or can I trust this, right? This person doesn't quite know, um, um, and you, I feel if they can trust how they feel when they're talking about you, because there seems to be so much distance between you and them, right? They want to move towards you if they're, if they need to, by the way, I feel like you may want the same, but there is this feeling coming through where, what if I'm crazy or what if this isn't real or what if I'm, um, if I'm being catfished, Right. I, I know it kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know, I think it was a movie or a TV show. You know, you can even catfish Zoom, right? You just, you just, you just don't know. And you're having a hard time with this, right? Um, with the high priestess here. And it kind of reminds me of another reading I did. Um, we don't always get to use our abilities to know the truth, right? Sometimes we have to go with a hunch. Sometimes we even have to be disappointed. Sometimes we even have to, um, give it a shot, right? With the high priestess being on the table, I can tell um, a Pisces that uh, you maybe you're trying to see, right? Um, trust your heart. Uh, one of the best things that you can do is follow that guidance, right? Um, I want to say for this connection, inspiration. Inspiration is real difficult to, um, uh, it's really, 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 really difficult for you to ignore that one, right? Um, I will try inspiration as the way to meet this person. So let's say you think, um, you've never called them before, right? And you get inspired. Let me just make the phone call. Do it, right? Because that's the moment you're going to get them, right? Um, let's say you feel really inspired to um, go out to eat with them or even ask them out to eat. Go ahead and do it, right? It feels along the lines here where you're communicating with this person and you're thinking, mm, mm, am I getting... Am I am I getting fooled in some way? Am I being uh, conned in some way? Am I being swindled? Like, what's going on here? I don't know, right? But the only way you're going to know is if you find out, right? With the Six of Swords, though, they want it to. I do feel like this person, though, is willing to move to your location. If they can move, they would. If, if, if you were open to that, I feel like they would really be open to that experience. But it's not about that. It's, it's more about, can I trust this? Um, is this real or is this all in my head? With the moon in its reverse, I can tell that, um, sorry, it's the funniest thing. Um, 
Um, I can tell that <sighs> both you and them want more light here, right? Want to be more, uh, want, want things to be more open. Um, but there is just, it's not fear. Sometimes you don't want to know what's behind that veil. Sometimes you don't want to know if this is real because it feels nice, right? Um, you deserve more, right? Even though you may not be ready to let go of this yet, if you get inspired to do something, do it. Inspiration is the key. The sacral chakra is the key. That's the one I trust for this type of situation. I wouldn't trust much else. I would try that one. But I just get the feeling here. You're questioning if they're real. Uh, maybe even if you're real and, uh, and and if there's feelings here and can you trust us and walk this path, right? With the star being here in the Knight of Wands, there's a lot of passion, by the way. It's not about the passion, though. Um, it's about is there anywhere to direct this passion, right? Is there anyone to direct this passion into, right? You know, this is something that I think both of you are questioning and both of you are having a really hard time. Maybe it's too, feels too special. Um, it just doesn't feel like that. I feel like you, you truly feel like you're being catfished or... You truly feel like you're being um, conned, and the only way you're going to know is for you to trust that inspiration to get there, okay? So let's take a look here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can you tell me, what are Pisces' current, or uh, what does this person currently want to say to Pisces? Um, sorry, it's like the funniest thing. Uh, let's see, we have the first one's going to be, I'm still holding on. Even though this feels like craziness, they are still in it, right? Um, they are, but they l are looking for the same look. Um, same level of certainty that you're looking for. They're looking to end this one way or the other. If you don't like them, fine, right? Uh, if you're not interested in them, fine, right? Uh, let's say it's a catfish, right? They're uh, they're looking to just tell you it is, right? This person just wants you to know the truth about how they feel. They want you to be more. Um, they want to be more open. Um, but I don't know if it's a catfish or not. It tells me no, <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But I feel like both of you really want to find that out. I know that it's crazy. Maybe if you're if they, you both think you're catfishing each other, but I gotta be real honest with you, it does feel like that too, right? I'm I'm tired of holding back. This is where I was talking about. They want forward movement, even if that means traveling to you, and that's a big deal for someone to travel to your location or travel to your city. Um, uh, I will leave it like that. And then we also have there's someone else, the three of cups, the three of chalices. There could be a fear about that. There may be someone else. Can I get a clarifier on that? Um. I think there isn't. I feel like there's a fear if they wait any longer, there will be, and vice versa. Um, both of these are looking to scoop this up, right? It's a good connection. I feel like there's a real um, strong, um, uh, sorry, a real strong intimate connection that you both share, uh, but it does feel hopeless. Why? Because, well, I, I don't know. Um, it feels like you either, either there's some catfishing going on or there's a, there's a suspicion of catfishing. Um, but I'll leave it just like that for you, okay? They are waiting for you to see how you play it, and they want some action here as well. This person is willing to do it, right? Um, so I'll leave it like that. I want to thank you, Pisces. Don't forget to like and comment and check out the rest of your chart. Know I love you. Know I care. And take care. Bye.